All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own apple cider press out of a five gallon bucket and some basic hardware to create fresh squeezed apple cider. Rachel and I have a surplus of apples. So I had the idea to make a homemade apple cider press. And this video is going to show you how to do that. All right, so here's some of the materials that you're going to need, starting with the lumber. I'm using two by six boards, all right? I got two different boards that are six feet long and two that are four feet long. You essentially need eight cuts of wood, and I'll put this in the description below also, but I'm gonna cut the six footers in half, so I'm gonna need four, a total of four three foot boards and four two foot boards. So here's a rough visual of what this is going to look like. Take three two-foot boards, they're gonna go on the bottom. The four three-foot boards that are taller, they're gonna go in between like so, okay? There's space for the bucket to go through and eventually I'll have the, the baking dish there. And then this third two-foot board will go on top. You're essentially making a rectangle and then using the, the bolts and nuts to hold those in place. This creates the area for the press to go. Before you drill the holes in, make sure you find a pan that can fit the diameter between them and that the bucket base can fit the diameter of, the, um, of that pan. I've got half inch bolts, so these are gonna have to be some, some big boy bolts, but for now I'm starting with a smaller one just to work through it and I'm finding the center going two and a quarter on all sides and that's my center drill spot right there. All right, lining these up in that sequence. All right, at this point, gotta just hit these bolts through, level it up. a lot of work to get this um, just right all the way through because these bolts barely made it. But it made it enough to be able to tighten these up. Got the base made. This is where the bucket will sit right here. And now all I got to do is put the top one in there. All right, this part's done. Now I'm gonna drop. These are the, uh, these are six inch bolts. I believe the other ones were eight inch. So pretty much I am just punching a bunch of holes in this food grade five gallon bucket to fit the, um, which is what's gonna press down and then that cider is gonna drip out. And this right here is the disc of wood that will fit in to the bucket to push that down. Oh, jeez. And that's what's gonna be our press. So get a few more in here and should be good to go. All right, a few days go later and it is rolling. It is working better than I thought. I'm obviously gonna have to make a few adjustments. That's how much cider's backed up. So I need to obviously drill more holes just so it can ooze out faster, I guess. Or drain um, into another picture. Well, it's not even, it's not even this draining. Oh, it's okay. the fact that it's backed up here from so much cider. Um, I used, this type of contraption to just by attach this to a drill, it's some of a uh, piece of all thread with a metal bracket to help chop the apples up with a drill. I put that in a bucket. I'll show you that later. And yeah, okay. This is taking too long though. I need to make a bigger hole to drain the cider. Make more and bigger holes here. 
Oh my gosh. All right, a few improvements. Ended up having to make a bigger hole up top because as you can see, it almost overflows part of it. Um, there's so much pressure and the apples are wanting to, are kind of blocking some of the holes down here. So the liquid a lot of times gets forced up to the top. So I'm just using a, maybe a different type of mesh bag would help with that. Maybe I should have ground the apples more. Either way that those higher up holes help with that problem a little bit. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And this is just the start of the apples. So I'll zoom out here back up so you can see the entire design we're using a hydraulic press to uh crank that down apply that pressure just have a lot of different wood blocks to stack it up as it gets farther and farther down and yeah here's a strategy for unwinding get a hook on it work smarter not harder add a few more blocks on there and keep going Oh yeah, lift that up, see what... Woo! Yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, halfway through the process, um, a reminder of just how much force that you're putting on this thing. I'm using a jack that's designed to lift up a truck. Obviously, I went with pine. All of a sudden it was cranking and cranking and just crack. So maybe it's worth paying the extra money and getting something like oak just to uh, ensure that it's strong enough. I found this other board. I think it's a slightly stronger wood. I'm gonna give that a try. Oh my goodness. Oops, that failed. So things have gotten a lot better. Starting with, we uh, executed this to actually work more, to really churn them up. The first batch we did, Go the first coat. batch we did, we just like put the apples in and that did not work well. Oh my gosh, yeah, we can't even keep up go. with it. All right, go. And this, you can just see in the color of this cider, it's like, it's more cidery and less juice. I don't know if that's a good way to say it, but she is working. We are rolling now. Fresh. Homemade apple cider. Cheers.